awesome absolutely awesome saturday it's like this is my weather i think it's 58 out right now and sunny 60 perfect but we got all kinds of wind going on right now but today's problem is this <laughs> we've had all kinds of mailbox problems on the street trays of course and it, i didn't say anything about dad's i don't think you all saw that but dad's mailbox got ripped down by the uh, snow guys over uh the last snow we had i think that's what it was so we're gonna try to do a better job than this hopefully let's see how it goes but dad's turned out like this they put it back in and they did a they did an awesome job see what you all think look how straight that is perfect it's the i mean i don't know any other good way to get mail other than a crooked mailbox who does stuff like this and i don't even think it's concreted either i don't like half on them work and then you remember trey's trey trey's got hit then he replaced it then it got hit again and then the trash people came back and um fixed it and then said just not to put a mail or trash box next to the mailbox and there's still a tra trash can next to the mailbox but it's like four feet away. So if they, he does that because the last time, they, the first time the mailbox got hit, somebody hit it turning around in his driveway. So they'll hit the mailbox first, hopefully, or the trash can first and not the mailbox and they're backing out. But here's dad's nice and, uh, oh yeah, it's perfect. Nice and straight. And then there's ours. So, We've had this post and this mailbox since uh, January 1st, 2015. And about over the middle of the winter, a couple of the shingles started falling off and this thing's looking rough. And then we had a real big wind and it blew all the shingles off of it. So Amy was wanting to stain the, see when we first got here, uh, shout out to Adam. <laughs> he had this post in the ground with one of those little spikes or whatever in the ground so every time you touch the mailbox it about fall down you know when it got rainy and nasty outside so i concreted in man how long ago was that no like i said 15 five six seven eight nine years ago i concreted that in so amy was just wanting to replace the box put a new box on and stain the pole um but i think what we're going to do is get one of them plastic things that slips over top of it i might have to cut that off with a sawzall or something and then just bolt it to that and then it's good as new. Because I think this, when it's black, will look, eventually we want to do a black roof because we didn't put a green roof on here, obviously. It had a, it had white siding when we bought the house with a green roof and uh, a green front door. So we're trying, you know, what we want is a, what we want one is a black metal roof and board, white board and batten siding and then a black mailbox. Uh, to match all the black accents, on, black accents on the house. So, anyways, we are headed to Lowe's to see what we can get. So we'll be back. All right. So update. Went to Lowe's. Um, got there. Went in. They had like they had a bunch of different mailboxes to choose from, but um, I want this black. I don't know how to explain it. It's just a black plastic one that slides over the four by four post, and then you bolt it to it. But not the one that everybody has. Just a normal looking mailbox. And we went over there and they had a black plastic one, but it had a gray lit or gray uh, um, stupid door on it. And I know the siding on our house is gray or whatever and probably, probably should have just got that one and put it on there. But um, I've done that before. So what I'll do is I'll buy it and I'll be like, it'll be okay, it'll be okay, it'll be okay. And then put it in or install it or whatever. And then I'll think about it for like two or three days. Like, well, I kind of like the other one better. I kind of like the other one better. And I'll drive myself nuts until I get the one that I wanted originally and put that in. So trying to make a better decision today. So ordered a mailbox from Amazon and it'll be here tomorrow, which is Sunday. So uh, today I'm gonna go ahead and cut the grass and first cut of the year and get all that done. And um, everything kind of looks like crap because the grass is growing up in patches and stuff. So I just wanna make it look a little bit nicer, but we'll uh, be back here in a minute. So it's Monday, it's not Sunday. Amazon lied comes in today there it is that's her 
I have stuff shipped to uh, um, my dad's house because uh, one time I had a bunch of menace things inside this thing. There it is right there, but I think it's got a red flag, I think. I don't know. Watch this one have a gray thing on it, too. Okay. But anyways, I had a bunch of, uh, you all know by now I'm pretty indecisive. So, cell phone cases, like, I don't know, seven or eight years ago, I had like three or four of them ordered because I didn't know which one I wanted. And they were right on the line of being cheap enough. And I'm like, I'll just get them both. And uh, had them shipped here to the house. Got home from work. And they were in pieces all the way across the yard. But did get the grass mowed yesterday. And um, Hoss destroyed them. So, um, man. So I have stuff shipped to Mom and Dad's house. Oh, I'm out of breath. Anyway, can't tell. It is 29 degrees today. It was like 55 yesterday. It's supposed to be like 55, 60 tomorrow. So I think we're going to go ahead and just uh, wait till it gets a little warmer out to change that. So we'll be back. All right. So next day it is 1130 and it is uh, 52 out. So it's a little bit warm. Well, no, it's not 52 yet. It's 37 right now. So I'm, I'm free. <laughs> it's freezing when you walk outside on the porch. In the shade over there, it's absolutely freezing. It feels a little better here, but anyways, read the instructions, got it out of the box. Here's some screws it came with. It says, well, technically I'm retrofitting this. You're not supposed to do this, but um, you're supposed to buy a post and put it in the ground, but I'm gonna cut this post off and then slide that over top of it and then screw it to it. So um, it says it wants the post to be 30, 22 to 30 inches tall. So. I'm gonna go for 30 and then um, cut it off the sawzall and then slide that thing over top of it and screw it to this post and put the box on. And then I guess we'll have to run the lows here sometime and get some uh, numbers because we ain't got no numbers for the house. See, right there? And we ain't got no numbers on the house. So this is where we're at. That's it so far. Cut the old one off right there. Screwed her to her. Looked pretty good. Nice and level. Just need some numbers now. All the way back to Lowe's. Every time you do a... We were already there once in this video and didn't get numbers. But had to go back and get some numbers. But I think it matches the doors. Just need a nice roof to match the doors in the mailbox. And we'll be all set. Well, that's fancy. It's one of those... Never had one of those before. Call that a through box. Go ahead, at least I got That's it. Right here, it gets up. What do you think, Lake? You like the new mailbox? Hey, what's up, YouTube? You don't like the new mailbox, Lake? It's different. <laughs> it's it's it needs numbers. You gonna try to put open it up? See if it works. I like how it's. She can't open it. I like it. Looks good. I'll be back. I just gotta run over here for a minute. All right, we need some numbers now. We'll be back. Okay, it is windy as crap right now. Skipped a couple steps. Um, can't decide on the size of the numbers here. Here's our old size. And then I put them on in both spots. See what you all think. Have to let. Amy tell me which one to do here. I don't know. None of them don't really look the best, but this is the only option this Home Depot had. So, I don't know. Can't decide which one it's gonna be. It's either gonna be the, probably that one. That one looks a little better. I, I don't know. We'll see here in a little bit. Okay, Amy's editing, uh, editing the mailbox video and we realized uh, we didn't finish the put the ending on the end of the video and it's freaking pouring down rain. Look at this, it's like flooding around here. But Amy said when I asked her which numbers she liked the best. Amy, what numbers do you like the best? I actually like them both, but if I had to pick between one or the other, I'd probably pick the smaller ones. I thought you said both the whole time. You've been saying I did, both. The but 
Uh oh, listen. Oh, we're about to lose power. <laughs> yeah, never mind. We can't do that because then we and we wouldn't be able to edit. But uh, anyway, so that's the that's the mailbox. So first one lasted us. Well, I mean, technically, I could have got some wood and fixed it, but it lasted for five nine years. So I don't think this one's gonna last that long. I think the plastic's gonna fade and crap and all that stuff. But we've been using it now for golly, like a week and a half or two weeks or something. Um, it's it's uh busy around here all these videos all these different channels were were um ahead like a couple months on some channels and then we're ahead a couple weeks on other channels so it just gets confusing after a minute but anyways that's where we're at so um let us know if y'all do y'all have any problems with people doing um should get trade to tell that story uh um with people knocking mailboxes over in your neighborhoods it'd be kind of Kind of interesting to hear. We never, we don't. I, I never, I don't. We never had it on this street. I don't think, like on purpose. You know what I mean? Like with baseball bats. But you know, Dad's getting broken in half with a snowplow, and the Trey's getting hit with a garbage truck and stuff. But, anyways, thank you all a ton. Subscribe here. Subscribe to the Bell Life Bangs. Subscribe to Ask the Bell Life. And um, check us out on thebelllife.com. All the links will be in the description below. And I gotta go uh, finish washing dirt bike crap in the pouring down rain so yay for me right see y'all